Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's another beautiful day that the Lord has made. We will continue to rejoice and be glad in it. Guess what? Dr. Supriya is in the building to come and share a wealth of wisdom, knowledge, and experience with us. And I want to believe that we are all ready. But before then, Let's start off. Okay. Dr. Elizabeth Lucas is a dynamic and motivation speaker. She is based in the United Kingdom. She is the founder and director of Yes You Can International. She has been invited to several international conferences to speak and lecture. She is an intelligent teacher, author, and she is a mentor to the younger generation. Please subscribe to YYCI TV on YouTube to watch her amazing videos. You will be glad you did. This is just to let you know that there's nothing too difficult for you to do. If we can change, then everything around us will change. Without wisdom, you can't really create wealth. We are in the world of creativity. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly share with you the... I'm just going to share with you about Yes You Can International. So welcome to Yes You Can International, United Kingdom, a home of discovery development and demonstration of your gifts, talent, and skills, a home of love, relationship, and family, a place of mastering mindset for transformation and building deeper relationship. YYCI Blueprint stands for time, because there is time for everything, T-I-M-E, for the youth, youth leaders, and young family for transformation and training, inspiration and impartation, mentoring and motivation, empowering and education. So, YYCI's mission is to engage the youth mind positively and take positive actions to help them to focus and not to be distracted, to get better and better and let them know they have everything in them to be successful and fulfilling their purpose. And once they believe in themselves and take action and focus on their development, they can also help others to get better. And that is why YYCI is established. We arrange masterclass just as this one, workshops and conferences and seminars monthly. Our youth need us to guide them, lead them, mentor them, and save them from destruction, misguided, and confusion. Our youth need us to listen to them and give them opportunities, platform to express themselves, their concerns, their ideas, missions, dreams, aspiration, and vision. And also, we create a platform for them to network both locally, nationally, and globally and to empower them to do something great for their lives and for the future. We also create a platform for them, an opportunity to reposition themselves, knowing who they are and their why and their purpose. Our youth need us, and that is why we are inviting you and all the world leaders to come and share, come and teach, come and train, and also enlighten them. So our youth need mentors, coaches, advisors, guidance. They need us to lead the way and lay example for them to follow. So let me quickly show you some of our, hold on a second. Let me lead you to some of our, these are most of our programs that we try to used to support our youth. And these are the books that we have written. Luckily, one of them, which is Relationship Matters, 
we will encourage some of our youth to share their opinions in this particular book of relationship matters, how we can build, maintain, and keep any relationship. This was launched early this year. And also many, many books written. All these books are available at www.amazon.com or amazon.co.uk. You can also visit us on www.yesyoucaninternational.com or yesyoucaninternationalbyelizabeth.com and www.elizabethcreations.co and .uk. Visit us on our Facebook Live where you'll be able to get as much information. We also want to encourage you to subscribe to our yyci.tv YouTube channel. Subscribe to it and you'll be able to gain more of our knowledge. So today, we've started the journey together since Sunday. And today is the day before tomorrow. So tomorrow is our last day. And we've been enjoying all our great, great leaders. They have shared with us, oh my God, their wealth of knowledge, wisdom, and experience. And I want to believe that you've gained a lot from their teachings. But in any way, you were unable to join in. You can still watch the video from live at Yes You Can International Facebook Live. So you can watch it as, as long as you want to gain information. And if you still have any questions, they are ready to answer your questions. So you can still text it on the box where we check everything every day and we'll be able to put your questions across to them for them to answer. We also have all these they have really blessed us with their wisdom. Now, today is another day, and we have two beautiful sisters, and they are going to empower us, equip us, and also give us every of their wisdom, experience, and knowledge. So let me ask a question. Are you ready? Okay. If you are ready, let's move on. Our first speaker for today will be Dr. Supraya Kumaravela. Did I get that right? Yes, you okay. get that right. Okay. okay, where are you from, if I may ask, please? I'm from India, and India. I'm in Chennai, yeah. Uh, okay, that's good. So our Dr. Supraya is from India. So I'm going to put my slide down so that I can relax and tell you more about Dr. Supraya. Okay, so Dr. Supraya from India, international speaker, Toastmaster, NLP coach, communication expert, leadership coach, soft skill trainer, global motivational, keynote speaker, host, and Master Coach Business Power Academy, Netherlands. Also, international advisor and host of Macedonia Association Dosa Sector Macedonia. Our doctor, Supriana, is also, she trained professional with over 70 years, 70 plus years of rich global experience is setting up leading and managing end-to-end -end learning and organization development management. Dr. Supraya bring extensive experience in building programs for leadership development pipeline based on business plans and as the experts in providing VILT ILT and E based and blended learning solution. Her facilitation and delivery capacities include corporate L and OD, MDP, LDP, and LDP programs. Wow. Camification, career development, ideal context 
management, mentoring, coaching, communication, presentation, performance management, and process enhancement. Let's go further. She is awarded with various national and international accolades. Of course, when you read her profile, she deserves all these about uh, all these awards and honor. She is the best soft skill trainer, keynote speaker, my corporate guru award, summit and award. She is also the best speaker by Educos Unite of Scholar. Best Word Speaker by Macedonia Association. Best Humanity Award by Macedonia Association. Inspirational Speaker, the Life Foundation. Inclusive Education Award. Best Woman Award by Educos Unite of Scholars. Best Global Educator by Macedonia Association. DOSA Structure. Macedonia. Let's go every further. Awarded with Malad Malanada Poruska, IDYMF. Awarded with Atma Nithba Peruska, IDYMF. Best Active Lifestyle Award by Bangladesh. Best Golden Personalities Award by Bangladesh. Awarded with various World Peace Awards. Awarded with various honorary doctors from various countries like Brazil, Bangladesh, and so forth. Being judge panel panelist in WICE, ISIF, IYBC, and NASPO, and 12 ASPO, AISEEF. A W Y I I A in 2021, 2022, and 2023. And if you want to connect with our darling sister, Dr. Priya, please connect with her on LinkedIn, as you can spell the name to go ahead, okay? and also on Facebook. You will miss her. And even if you have trouble in connecting with her, that is where. YYCI is so unique. Get in touch with us and we can link you with Dr. Supriya. Okay. So, oh, she's smiling already. And she's ready. <laughs> okay. I don't know why YYCI have not uh, awarded you for anything yet. Well, I think that's an eye opener. <laughs> We know where to get you. <laughs> okay. So welcome to Yes You Can International. And the floor is yours, Dr. Subraya. Well, much gratitude and a beautiful namaste from India to my majesty, Queen Dr. Elizabeth Lucas. She is the director of Yes You Can International, and it's my golden, you can say, a chance that God has given me today to share my views on a very, very important topic, that is how to have magic and harmonious relationship. So thank you so much, Yes You Can International, my dear beloved queen, and my beautiful global audience. And your topic, and your topic is so fascinating that I can't <laughs> wait. Magic. Yeah. Oh wow. So we are ready to listen to hear and also to learn. Thank you. Sure. Before I take a lovely deep dive in this journey with you all global educator leaders, once again, thanking you, everyone, my Lord, my God, my beautiful global audience, and once again, yes, you can. Let me share my screen. Yes, you can share your screen, okay. Hope my screen is visible. Yes. 
Sure. And here, the most amazing, the most vivacious, and the magic begins here. How to have magical, magic, and harmonious relationships. Before I go, would love to say one thing to everyone who are watching us live and who are going to watch this video later on. Love, harmonious, is the beautiful gift of God. The Lord has given this beautiful gift to our Mother Earth, to each one of us, our humanity, our society. And with this vision and mission, if I can change a single person of this earth, I will think my masterclass is successful today. So without taking a pause, I am starting my journey with you all. Relationship, wow. It is an amalgamation of so many things. For example, when we are in our home, we enjoy our food. And if I am not wrong, it is a question. How do you enjoy your food, your lunch, your dinner, your breakfast? Does it with one single ingredient? No, I'm sure if I will ask this question to my global educators, or leaders who are watching, they will not say our food, our lunch is only compromised of only one factor or one ingredient. Rather, it is an amalgamation of carbohydrate, proteins, and so many minerals, vitamins, so many things that makes a food healthy. And after having our food, we become healthy, nutritious, wealthy, and a successful person. So that's the part of the health. If I correlate our health with relationship, then friends, relationship is again, is not consist of a single ingredient, but an amalgamation, a mixture, a content of love, care, respect. And the most important thing is this beautiful word that is L-O-V-E bestowed by Lord can change anything in this world. Even a stone can get affection. Even a stone can turn into a human being just because once you know the tricks, the tips to move on a harmonious relationship. Whether a human being, whether an animal, whether a living being, everyone needs love, respect, and care. Now, People will ask me, what is the real definition of relationship? So let's see from that perspective, what actually a relationship is. And we are talking today so many platforms about emotional intelligence, about emotional intelligence speeches, conferences. But have we ever thought the real meaning of relationship. It is not only about your family. It is not only about with your children. It is not only about with your spouse, husband, wife. But it's the beautiful emotional bonding when you create with your onlookers, your spectators, or a person you meet. Even here you can see a person and a lion. 
we are saying lion is a wild animal, stay away, it can't harm you. But a story I remember in my childhood about Androcles story, how a love, affection, understanding can turn a wild animal into your friend. And I hope everybody knows that story of, about Androcles. I need not to tell again. And that's the beauty of a relationship. We cannot run away from relationship. Even you are in your home, we have relationships with our husbands, spouse, children, family. When we go to our job, we have good relationship with our colleagues, with our boss. When we are in the society, we have relationships with our neighbors, our friends. And we can run away. It is the most and most important part of your life. And when I say lie, the bonding, the empathy, the strongness, the love, the affection, the care, the respect, I am talking about F-A-M-I-L-Y. And that is the best gift a person will ever get from God. And that is beautiful family. So let's take this journey on. and. Before I take on, would love to tell about two sides of every boy. When we study mathematics, geometry, every shape, whether it's a cube, cuboid, rectangle, everything, or a circle of a sphere, we have two sides. Generally, in relationship, people focus only on one side. And that's the gap, that's the pit where we are digging, where we dig for ourselves. And that is the major mistake which we are going to see in this journey later on. So let's have a look on two sides of a coin. So my first coin going on. How many in relationships? A great, great topic. But if you have the correct knowledge, the correct moves, you can create wonders. And trust me, folks, you will be the best person of this earth. But how? So let's create the magic in harmony and relationships. And just stay one by one. What are the wisdom golden nuggets over here? The first and the foremost thing which I respect, which I, you, me, and anyone, whether it's of any country, whether it's of any gender, whether it's of anything, everyone requires only one thing. That is the most important golden rule, you can say. Respect. The word R-E-S-P-E-C-T is a six letter word, right? But what a strong game, what a strong influence it plays, you don't know. And the golden rule of respect demands only one thing, which I would love to share with everyone over here. I am sure if I ask the golden rule, people will say, so many things that if I start asking, my chat box will be filled with boomed off respect answers. But only one rule. Give respect, get respect. Treating others the way you want to be treated. And trust me, folks, when you will know that this tips, I am sure. Wherever you go, wherever you meet, whomsoever you will meet, you will create the positive ambience. And with your positivity and energy, you can change the world. Because when you are a transformed person, when you are the best person, when you are a positive person, you can get this respect from others. But before that, we need to be a better human being. 
Nowadays, we talk about so many things. We talk about love, care, respect, understanding. But we only speak. We only talk. And always remember one quote. Calmness of mind and promptness of action leads to success. So if we only talk, that doesn't help anyone. Rather, going teen things all into your action because actions speak louder than words. So if you want any harmony in any relationship with anyone, I bet you anyone, even with your pet animals, just respect. And the magic flows when they will start loving you back. One question with everyone who are watching us. Have you ever been on a road? And if you see a wild dog, if you make your face frown or if you scold, and we say the dog won't understand. But if you will do that, I'm sure he's going to bite you or he's going after you or he will bark at you. But same dog, if you will speak soft or if you will just offer a piece of bread, he will, the magic happens, it will start waving his tail and it will come to you. That is the unspoken language of respect. When you are respecting an animal, see the magic. With your respect, with your behavior, you can turn an animal. Then why not human beings when God has gifted a good brain? So the most important thing we request is respect. Respect everyone. Whether the front person, now one question can come to me and most of the people has asked me. In today's world, when we are respecting, people are taking our respect, our soft-spoken words, our gratitude into weakness, just like one of the last session, one person has asked me a great question. When we are bending, people are using us like a welcome mat. And I said in that session, have you ever seen a tree which is loaded with fruits? It will always bend. And that's the truth of the lie. When you are adorned with a lot of qualities, when you are a great human being, you will always bend. And bending doesn't mean a sign of weakness. As I said, every coin has two sides. So see always the positive side of the coin. So moving ahead, give respect, get respect, and the magic begins. Wow. How many of us study physics in their school? And I am sure everybody will say, yes, I have studied the most important top subject, physics. Where we say directly proportional. We talk about energy e is equals to empty square. We all know that formula, but in this relationship, the formula is directly proportional. Love, peace, happiness is directly proportional to each other. It's not inversely proportional what we used to study in our mathematics or physics in our school or colleges or still we are studying. Always remember, the three pillars of any relationship is based on these three things. That is your love, peace, and happiness. If you love, you will get peace, you will be happy. If you get peace, you will be happy, you will get love. If you get happiness, you will love, you will peace. You cannot ignore any of these important factors in life. Now, people are getting a lot of complaints nowadays. You know, they are in this cutthroat competition where everybody is in a cat and a rat race. I want to pick this person down. How she is moving ahead of me when I'm having so many great qualities. 
we are missing these pillars. Pillars, no, not anymore in relationship. And then we have a lot of complaints and we have a lot of, you know, hustle, hustle, life, tension, stress, anxiety. So who is inviting all these problems? Because we are breaking the three important pillars of our relationship. So a very important thing I would love to share with all the global educators and leaders, love, peace, and happiness go round and round with one another. Whether you don't know the language, let me ask you a question. You go to any country, suppose if I go to any country, and I don't know the language, the culture, the city, the country, and of course, the tradition. And I meet a person. I don't know the language. I don't know the culture. I don't know how to start the topic. I don't know how to speak. But if I will just pass a smile, although it's a curved line, but it can make everything straight. That's the power of your positive smile. I will get the same result, the same response from that person who is not doing the language. Don't you think here, the power of love, the power of peace, the power of happiness, and in a fraction of a second, a stranger can turn my friend, a foe can turn my best friend, just because the power of your smile. Now, one question to everyone who is watching this masterclass. We always have been told by our elders, by our parents, always smile. It will solve all your problems. How? I used to wonder how a smile can solve all your problems. Scientifically. Yes, let me explain you. We all know our thoughts are the most powerful thing. We turn into actions. So whenever we are smiling, we are inviting all happy hormones in our body. That is dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin. Amazing. These are the happy hormones which you are inviting in your body. And endorphins, that creates miracle, that creates magic. When you start smiling, your old problems are going to vanish and love, peace, happiness are going to come into your life just like a magic and you become happy. Don't you think so? One morning you get up and you don't smile. All stress hormones will liberate in your body and it will make you stress. You can't come out of those things. But if you start smiling, scientifically, spiritually, emotionally, physically, all these great happy hormones will liberate and make you the master of love, peace, happiness. So here's the trick. If you want to see what happens when you smile and what happens when you don't smile. So think spiritually, think scientifically, you will get only one answer. The love, peace, happiness, you have to take around. Moving ahead, understanding. This is one of the most important thing of people to know you. It's just been rightly said, understanding is deeper than knowledge. There are many people who know you, but there are very few who understand you. So the most important thing in any relationship, whether it is your husband, wife, children, family, teachers, friends, colleagues, office, anything is your mental understanding your empathy we meet so many people in life where we'll get complaints she's not understanding he's not understanding my problem but have we ever empathized again one question to all the global leaders suppose you're a boss of your company and your employee needs a one-day holiday because he or she is not well and if you say no Work a lot, work is a lot. I can't give you a leave. Don't you ever empathize? Are you a good human being? 
And always remember, life is a boomerang. What you are doing now with others, karmas are going to back it in future. So understanding and empathiness are the two major important where they are directly proportional to each other. If you understand, if you empathize, you can create wonders, magic in your relationship. When we are talking about husband and wife relationship, the understanding plays a vital role. If some says north, if some say south, clashes will happen. If some say east, some say west, again clashes will happen. So for any harmonious relationship, your understanding, deeper understanding, the unspoken words of understanding plays a major role. So understand the people better, empathize the people better. You are going to create big magic and you will be the best magician of this world. Trust me, apply this and you are going to create so many magic in your life. Well, care, when we are talking about this beautiful word, I think what I said previously, care of your parents, care of your child, care of your spouse, care of your family, and care of even animal can change anything in this world. It can create magic. You start caring for any person, for any animal also. So again, I'm throwing one passion and I love to ask questions with my people, with my global educators leaders. I will give or gift you a plant. And daily, if you're not watering that plant, do you think that plant will survive? No. In four or five days, the plant is going to die because you didn't water the plant properly. You didn't show your care. You didn't show your respect. You didn't show your great responsibility. And care is another name of your responsibility. When you are caring, when you're showing your responsibilities, you know, God has sent everyone, each one of us to this beautiful mother earth with some sort of responsibilities. When people rush away, turn their heads away from their care, from their responsibilities, there a lot of devastation begins. So in any case, never ever forget your care which responsibilities you're having towards your family, towards your parents, towards your children, and towards the humanity, which we should never, ever forget. Moving ahead, in a nutshell, affection, care, guidance, reverence, acceptance, glory, gratitude, love, all are beautiful ingredients of this beautiful nutshell. Kindly open this. Engross it, embrace it, feel it, love it, care it, respect it, and you will see the magic in your relationships. Well, what does this if I ask a question to my beautiful people? Oh, what? Another side of the coin. Let's begin. Till now, I was taking every one of you to the positive side, one side of the journey. Now begins the real harsh practical life. We all talk, we all attend conferences, we all attend so many, you know, master classes. But when it comes to real life, every family, this is a question mark. And that is where the problem begins. For example, if I take a family, when the two important pillar of family, a husband and a wife, fights, indulgent arguments, heated arguments, no love, no care, no respect, no understanding. Misunderstanding begins. This is the rule. This is the result where kids cry and that family is never ever be a happy family. So what's the deal? Now question comes, what's the big deal? And the big deal says what we are facing today in today's 
modern world where we talk about technology, we're talk talking about enhancement, where we are talking about globalization. But what about family globalization? <laughs> what about this family, society, humanity? That is the problem, that is the pet where all problem takes another side of the coin, that is differentiation of your body, of your physical facilities, beliefs, wealth, force, your physical strength, of your race, of your gender, of your age. Don't you think we are disrespecting? We are the culprits. We create problems and then we get worried and then we find solution and that will be too late. So let's take a look. Oh my God, in every field, in every country, whether it is a very developed, underdeveloped, we are finding this devil. This devil, I will say the word devil, it's not divorce, it's the devil because it's creating a lot and lot of problems. A family breaks, a husband and wife separates. Who is the most important sufferer? One question to everyone. Who suffers a lot with this devil? This is called divorce. Who suffers a lot? Yes, a child suffers. Because a child don't know. He don't know what father argument or what is the mother argument, why they are fighting because a child is an innocent person. He knows or she knows how to be loved, how to get his dad's love, how to get his mother love. And trust me, any country, if you ask any child, whom do you need, a father or a mother? And the child will say only one thing, I need both. So trust me, folks. Stay away from devil. Let's begin the magic harmonium in relationships. And I am sure if we will start creating the magic today, this devil will be away from us, from every family, from every blessed family. There will be no crying child. So let's wipe the tears of a small child who need a father, who need a mother, who needs both their love. And I think then that question mark will never ever be on a child happiness, on a child bringing, upbringing, raising, education, future, and of course, emotional bonding, emotional bonding. We see nowadays child psychologists, we talk about child psychologists, child psychiatrists, but where are the root causes of child psychologists taking to a child to a psychologist? We are giving the rules. We are creating those problems. And ultimately, we tell a small innocent child to eat an antidepressant tablet. Is, are these are the responsibility of a father and mother? I'm asking globally to everyone over here in this masterclass. We have created the problems. We have created so many problems. And then we find the solution. But before finding any solution, think about the future of any country. That is your beautiful, innocent child. So stay away and create the magic and let the magic begins. And of course, when I'm talking about how more is relationship, then this family, the ones we live with love, with care, with respect, that should never ever be get broken by our misunderstandings, that is by other side of the coin. So in life, always remember, try to train your mind, try to train your each cell of the body to see positive in every negative uh, scenario, in every negative circumstances. And I'm sure when you will train your mind to look positive, the negativity, depression, anxieties, and the family breakage will be away from you and you will be creating magic in your relationships. Family, best mom, best dad. That's the pillar of any family. 
If you remove any of the pillar, as I said, in my relationships, when we were starting, the pillars, love, peace, happiness, say the two pillars should never ever separate it. And then only we can do wonders. And Afwat, I will say by concluding my, this masterclass about how many in relationships, this magic is only and only is in your hand. Magic of love, peace, happiness. We find so many solutions. And I say every solution is in your hand. And you go to doctor, you go to psychologist, you go to counselors, you go to mentors. For getting that solution? No. The solution is in your hand. Just open it. Open your eyes. Open your heart. Open your mind. Open your soul. You will find all solutions. Each and every solution. And there is no problem word in this life. There is only one word challenge and be behind every challenge there is a golden opportunity hidden so never ever get scared with any challenges any problems remove the word problem from a dictionary it's all challenge and accept the challenge this is life so keep creating harmony in relationship keep creating magic thank you so much amazing amazing that's amazing, Dr. Supriya. If I give you, if I want to for, for you to go on all along, all along, I'm sure we'll be here forever. Um, I'm just checking the Facebook. Your sister is actually there, hadn't you? Oh. <laughs> so she's watching you and some few, okay, Inga from uh, Grace, uh, no, from Georgia is there. So they were saying, yes, it's a great section and other things like that. Okay, I was waiting for them to give me their questions, uh, but at least they are enjoying it. So, which is the most important thing and many, many more will join later. Can I sure. quickly ask you a question since I'm sure. waiting for them? When we talk of relationship, in your words, you said there is no problem, but there is challenges. What kind of challenges are we to come across? And how can we solve that, that, that challenge? Well, to answer your question, I will give one my example. Okay. I'm a trainer, I'm a coach, and I'm a mentor. I teach people to find problems not as a problem, find challenges. But sometimes I'm a human being and I get too irritated. I get too uh, you know, fussy in my life. And these are the challenges when we preach others to be good, to be cool, to be in harmony. But when it comes to our head, our life, we started reacting. So, we have to maintain a perfect balance what we preach to others and how we act. And if I am preaching to be good, to be calm, to, to see positive in every negative situation, same thing I have to follow. Suppose if any negative situation comes to me and I started howling, why is it is me? But second moment, I should think, I taught my people it's not me, try me. And I should fill that particular moment with a lot of enthusiasm, with a lot of positivity. And I should be a role model to my people, find the challenges, not as a challenges, but a golden opportunity. When difficult times comes to you, most of us, we will just withdraw. We will just get into a depression. But think how we are doing exercises daily to make us fit. Similarly, to make you strong, these are just exercises, you know, bad times, tough times, challenging times, and they are making you bold and they are making you a strong, mental, stable person because more than your physical uh, your, your concourse, your mental stability speaks a lot. And if you're mentally strong, 
You can do anything in this world. You can survive in any condition because survival of the fittest speaks a lot. Thank you. Answers. Another thing I need to ask you, sorry, I, I like asking questions because that is how I get my own yeah. uh, inspiration. The next one is, you know, sometimes when you, you use the word preach or you speak or share or speak on a particular topic and you believe in that topic very well and you express yourself, sometimes you will be tested on what you believe, isn't it? You'll be tested on what you are saying. That means people will want to challenge you. And I know it's good in a sense that they want to see what you are saying in your action. And that is why they would like to challenge you. So in that kind of scenario, how do you overcome those challenges? I mean, this is not the problem now. This is the challenging, the, they are challenging what you believe or what you are saying? How do you overcome that? Great question. And it always happens. Well, it's some part. When such situation occurs, when people are challenging you and you have to prove, the best thing, actions speak louder than, than words. Voice. Yes. Actions speak louder than words. Suppose last moment, I was in a voice accent training and I was teaching my coaches to speak, to spell in a proper accent, but I was not doing that. And that was a big challenge. So with my uh, experience, I will say, actions speak louder than words. What you are preaching, that has to be mentored first in your personality. And the first thing, you have to be very calm and cool, handling interpersonal relationships. When you don't know, to tackle people and tackle people is an art, is a connection through art, through their hearts. And that shows how big a person is good in networking. And that is, I think, the major challenges and the best way to, to deal is to use your mind, to use your actions in a very positive manner. Thank you. So you've given us there. Thank you so much. Another question. Sorry, I'm uh, very, very I good. Know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> another, another question is, we're talking about relationship and relationship and love is very, very crucial in whatever we do in life. But sometimes our expectation is too much that the other person will not be able or doesn't have that capacity to meet that expectation. So in that way, it can cause you to be um, frustrated, discouraged, disappointed. Okay, so how do you communicate that expectation to the other spouse for them to understand it? Then not only that, yes, you are expecting them to meet this but when you now discover that, because what that's the problem of every one of us, we don't discover, we don't observe, we just conclude that they can meet the observe, they can meet the um, expectation. But then, how do we cope with disappointment that our expectation is not being met? Great question. Expectations. This is the word when being used over. <clears throat> Let me make this very simple. If we will eat a lot of salt, what will happen? High blood pressure, correct? Yeah. If we use very little salt, low blood pressure. If we use a lot of sugar, oh, mm. diabetes. If we use less sugar, again, low. The simple thing is balancing. Mm -hmm. If we will know how to balance any relationship, whether being a wife, mother, or any other, in a correct manner, the expectations will take in a positive turn. And when we are expecting a lot and lot from any person, trust me, 
everyone is a human being. We are not God or we are not robots that we have all the program fit into us. Mm. So we need to empathize. When we are expecting a lot of things from any person, we should first understand he or she is a human being. Mm -hmm. He or she is not a God or a robot. Mm -hmm. We should know how to empathize with her. And the most important thing is understand the unspoken words. And if, even though we are not satisfied, instead of howling, disappointment, we should use our effective communication skills, communicate with the people. Most of the relationships, people won't communicate. They will not find the solution rather than they will assume. And when they assume, the word ego comes mm. and it mm. clashes everyone. Why should I talk? I am a man. Why should I talk? I'm a working woman. And when that ego comes, your selfless, unconditional love will vanish and it will create into disorganized. So best thing, communicate effectively, empathize, understand. And most important, your front person is a human being. Treat yes. with respect. Yes. It's not a robot. It's not a God. No, and we it's need human to being. Be yeah. Yes, uh -huh. that's great. That's great. Thank you so much. I, I won't let you go because I know you are expert in this particular topic. I won't let you go until you share with us one or two uh, love language. Love. <laughs> love language is only one that comes from your heart. Yeah. And that is when you see people, when you don't know the people, when you don't know the name, when you don't know the culture, language, and you just smile and you just say namaste and you just say great respect. Mm -hmm. That is the unspoken words and that can turn your person also in the same response, he or she will start smiling. So love language, I will say only one thing. Love, smiling. care, respect. And your positive smile and enthusiasm that can turn anything in this world. So this is our love language. Yes. And just as uh, modern Teresa have said it as well, when you share love, yeah. you smile. <laughs> exactly. So smiling is very, very important. It heals the soul. Because you don't know what people are going through. And every one of us, like I always say, is the clothes that covers us. There's so many things behind these clothes that we are wearing. And a lot of people are facing a lot in life. So just a little bit of smile can heal the soul. And if you can go, ex go another level by hugging them, if you are permitted, because not especially after this COVID, if you are permitted to hug as well, you know, so it, 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 it gives them warm heart as well. Are they smiling? Everybody can do that. It's free. So yeah. let us cultivate the habit of smiling. So thank you so yeah. much. Yes, um, the, uh, Professor Raymond is saying, great job, great job, great job. Your sister is still there and others are joining later. I need to ask another question. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're talking about magic and we're talking about relationship. I just want to know what are the magic words that we can use? You know, what, what magic language or magic words? Great one. Magic. Trust me, Queen, we all are magician. Only we don't know our magic are within, inside us. Mm. And the most important magic words are soft-spoken words. Yes. For example, I meet a person. And if I want him to vacate a seat, if I use two ways, mm. same words, but two ways, mm. get up, vacate the seat. <laughs> so second word I use, please get up, please yes. vacate the seat. Exactly. Please. Same words, same face, mm. same thing, but the way 
the way we, is very important mm. in creating magic and in disappearing magic. It's true. So I tell you one thing, it's, it's all inside us. It's all that we are having. Mm. Only we don't know the way. Mm. And once we know the way, there is a mm. way for everything to be done. Yeah. I am sure we all will be a magician in relationship. We and we all will not have any problem in our life, in our personal life or professional life. Only we need to have patience. Mm. Patience, ego clashing, respect and two ways. That's very important. Two sides of a coin we mm. always need to take care of. And I think another thing as well to add to what you've just said, which is very important. I was waiting for that PL. <laughs> EA, please, because sometimes we, 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 because of ego, we use our position wrongly sometimes. And yeah. like I always tell people that wherever you are today is the grace of God. I mean, yeah. if it been 10, uh, 10 years ago, if you, somebody tell you that you will be where you are today, you will even say, are you crazy or are you? No, and it's not happening, but it happens. And you find yourself on the top way. And I believe that just to relate to what you just said, for somebody to say please, the person has humble, humble himself, isn't it? Yeah. Um, the person has humbled himself by saying, please, can you stand up? Because when you come to that level of using this magic word, I'm sorry, please forgive me. And you know, those kind of things. It's like you are also humbling yourself. And also you are putting yourself in a position to say that we are all human beings and every one of us deserves respect. So the way you said it, like you said, is very, very important, isn't it? Yeah. Your courtesy, your gratitude. Yeah. <laughs> and it also shows your upbringing, your education, your background. And of course, your mother, father upbringing. That's very important. Very How important. To be humble. Moral value, right. yes. Very, exactly. very important, yes. So the, the way we, you know, the way we treat others is the way we respect them. And the way we respect them is the way we will treat them. So that is just the way. And that magic words are very yeah. important. They might be so, it's just like a, one common, I don't know if you heard it, one common scenario that happens the other time. Husband and wife, they went to court, they want to uh, divorce, okay? And then the lawyer attentively asks them this question. Can you just tell me one point, the reason why you want to divorce? And then the woman said, because I have never been loved. And then the next question is, bye. And then the next question is, how do you know that you've never been loved? And then the woman say, he never say, I love you. Ah, okay. And then the lawyer asks again, okay, um, uh, the husband, um, you never say, I love you to your wife. Any reason? Then he said, I bought her cars, I bought her everything. And I believe that is the expression of my love. You understand? But then the magic there is, I love you, is more powerful than material things. Because when you say you love person, it's a magic word. It's a word that the person, it will hit the person's heart that at least I've yeah. been loved. Material things can come and go. But when you try to express it and say it, it doesn't cost you any money to say, I love you. And I believe that that is also magic. So they laugh that day when they were doing that. At the end of it all, when they now express this, then the man say, is that all? All right, I will start saying, I love you. And that was the end of the story. <laughs> they did not divorce. They really? carry on with their relationship. <laughs> You know, because sometimes, like you said, assumption, sometimes we assume that the other part, that you are meeting the expectation of the other party. But then if you don't communicate it, like you said, you won't know the expectation. You won't know what is really affecting the other person. 
So that is why we need to communicate because communication is the key to relationship. So if you don't communicate it, and then another thing as well, when we communicate, we have to know the time to communicate, the right way to communicate, and what to communicate. It's very, very important because you might be saying it in the wrong time. Or you might be saying it, saying the right words. Uh, you might be saying the wrong words for the right <laughs> words. So you have to watch what you say. And you have to say it at the right time. And that is the only, for example, one of the things that we learn, and I'm sure you are also coaching others in terms of relationship, that when you are upset, you don't pass your message on at that time. Because nobody will listen to you. Imagine when you are talking to the teenagers and you're upset already. They can only see your emotions. They can't see what you are talking about. They don't understand. In fact, some of them, they are bold enough. They might say, mommy, what are you talking about? So that means they didn't listen. <laughs> so we have to watch our emotions as well while communicating with our spouse or our family or even friends which I'm also learning because I don't know it all and I'm not perfect. The last question I would like to ask you, which I just mentioned it, how can we, how can we spread the message of imperfection? Because I think that is very important in relationship. Exactly. Perfection and imperfection. Again, I will say the two sides of the coin. And which one you will pick that decides your work, your destiny, which we always blame. We are not happy with this is our destiny. But destiny is always made by us. First of all, we all need to know we all are not perfect. Some people are good in some deeds. Some people are talented in some few things. So imperfections we have to see that 100% nobody is not perfect. And that is the real definition of imperfections. When anybody is not good in this, try to focus on her positive side. Suppose a lady is good in cooking, but is not good uh, in professional work. So don't say imperfect. You are good in cooking. You have to improve in your professional world. So again, imperfections, perfections, and the way you say, the way you judge, the way of your perseverance, or you can say perception, that matters a lot. So let's see imperfection just as a part of your personality, because 100% nobody is perfect, and try to focus on the positive side, positive qualities, of every person because I have some few good qualities, some bad qualities. And if I will uh, think my uh, good parts, I'm perfect. If I will focus on my bad parts, which are not good, I'm imperfect. So it all depends on my perception. So perception should be positive. Then there will be no word called imperfection. Yes. That's perfectly, perfectly. I hope we've enjoyed your conversation Thank you so today. much, Savior. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Dr. Supraya. Thank you so much. I, I love this journey, Queen. I love this journey. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope when we knock your door again, you'll be able to come back and continue sure. with our discussion. Yes? Sure. Thank My you pleasure. so much. Really appreciate you. Thank you for the for the teaching, the first teaching, and for our discussion. It's very, very important. And hold on to that positive magic. We're coming back. <laughs> ah, sure. Okay, thank you so much. Now we need to call on the next speaker of the day.